All right, Big Bang, today is Monday. It is February 6th. Welcome to the Dog Walk, presented by Barstool Sports. It's Snake Draft Monday, presented by Miller Lite. Uh, we are joined on Zoom by uh, Nick and Robbie Fox. Uh, Nick, welcome back. Robbie, welcome back. Nick, how are you? I'm doing good. Thanks for asking. How, uh, how are you guys? Thank you for having me. Um, I'm doing great. Dave, how are you doing? Are you were excited to see Nick in particular? You said you haven't talked to him in a while. You're rediscovering America, buddy. I wouldn't say I'm excited to see him, but it was uh, it was nice to see him. Okay, I'm a little excitement. nervous. That, that's that's damn near synonymous, Dave. <laughs> no excitement, like it's a, a more dumbed down version of excitement. You're it's a dumbed nice down version of everything. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly what I am. Just right, even killed, smack down the middle of the bell curve. I wish I could Fair say thing. I was excited to see Robbie, but Robbie's like fucking super good at these things. I yeah, think he's boom. I come in, hit undefeated. a couple jabs, get out of here. Yeah, he's I not. think I lost once. I have to admit, I did lose once, but only once. Yeah, he dominates. Yeah. Um, on that note, congratulations but, to me. Yeah, for well, that's what the, I was gonna say. Like you, you've skewed the rules so much now that you're gonna end up winning a lot. So I don't think you have to be afraid of Robbie anymore. Well, took the gold last week. Uh, won the uh, gummy candy slash fruit snack draft. So uh, shout out to me, I guess. Uh, today's the board game draft. Nick, let's get into that a little bit. So you're like, you're an expert, right? I know I don't. I shouldn't um, say that because, like you, you. I'll let you get into it. Yeah, I love board games. My, uh, I have a degree in design, but my senior like capstone class was board game design. I uh, I always go to board game conventions. I'll go to one in Philly. I go to one in Columbus. Um, yeah, I recommend going to board game conventions because if you ever walked in a convention center knowing you were like the best looking person there, <laughs> it'll 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 blow your mind um, how how good that makes you feel. But yeah, I I buy board games all the time. I have a big trunk full of them. Uh, yeah, just tough to get a partner to play with. I'll play chess with you online or some. Okay, yeah, I'd be down. Well, and then when you guys <laughs> move together, yeah, we could play in yeah, person. We could just do it when we're roommates. We play yeah. in person. Yeah. 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 You guys could put a piece of tape along the trunk. There would be catcher's equipment on one side, board games on the other side. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> would be nice. Uh, yeah, we'd have to divvy up the, the the trunk. So, can I ask a question about your senior thesis game? Yeah. Did you ever actually build it out and like have you had people play it? Yeah. So the whole the whole semester was you prototyping the game, play testing it, and then finally having it. Interesting. You talk, do you talk, still yeah, have it? Game, can we yeah. play that? How do we play? So yeah, Mayan is like, uh, so they wanted it based off of something that like you believe in in real life. And I, I have a huge fear of public restrooms. And so mine was a game <laughs> called You're in Trouble. And so it was like a, uh, an above view of an office and you were like an intern in the center and you had to finish tasks throughout the day, but you have a separate card that's your bladder. And uh, if you roll a five or a six, you add piss to your bladder. And if you piss yourself, you get another task. But you could like sneak in and piss, or and uh, yeah, it's it, there's there's a few more rules, but it was it was solid. Did it have any adult themes to it? Um, yeah, it did. It was it was an adult it was an adult based game, but that like I, you, you you weren't fucking in it. <laughs> yeah, what are you thinking when you say adult themes? Yeah, you know, like playing cards with naked ladies on them, like Red says in uh, Shawshank, <laughs> stuff like that. You're, you're uh, an absolute caveman. I love it. No, I mean, maybe with the expansion pack, like if you roll a two, you'll get your fucking dick sucked or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like, that's, I like that. All right. I would yeah. play that game. Yeah, you know, we, uh, I'm officially bringing you on to the team of You're in Trouble. I'm in. Perfect. It's a great board game name, and that's like 90% of a great yeah. board that game. That is true. Oh also God, true. Yeah. What'd you get on the Capstone Project? I passed. Was I wasn't passed a very now. good student. We passed. Yeah, I passed. That, that, that's all that matters, right? Yeah. That's all the that matters. The game itself was good. I just uh, didn't take much time building it. Mm -hmm. um, you should. I'm, I would be down to play that. I would be I down would, to play yeah. it. And not only that, you should just have Barstool mass produce it and sell it and make money. Yeah, so I, I actually just got a 3D printer for Christmas this year so I can make pieces for games and stuff. Oh, oh, very cool. So, oh, wow. Well, I, I don't know if I want to say very cool, again. but interesting exactly. for you. He's going to lose the pieces. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Or eat them. But um, <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I I like right now though. I don't design games, but I like improving games. So if like a game has like a bad piece, I'll like design it and make it better. Interesting. Well, not really, 
not really chief <laughs> no but like well it's also 30, like i can design 30. this chess piece better it's like the, the queen's been around for like 700 years or whatever you gotta reinvent the queen is what yeah, you're saying? It's what yeah like it's queen, kind of yeah. like an arrogant that's a, yeah thing. that's a ballsy yeah statement right i there. don't know i think the rook is sharp the rook is pretty. The rook looks rook? great. Yeah. No, the rook's the worst one. You think so? No, I think wait, the bishop's the worst one. The worst one. No, pawn's classic. It looks like a butt plug. Yeah. But the rook is just like, what's that little, what's that little slit doing? I don't like the slit either. It's asymmetrical. I think I you're thinking, like of, the no, think you're thinking of the bishop. No, that's the bishop. Yeah, I don't, like, I don't like the bishop. I'm thinking of the bishop. Yeah. yeah. You're thinking of the bishop. Then forget me. The, yeah, the, yeah, the yeah, rook is the little castle, the spire. Okay, no, I, yeah, I like that. Yeah. The bishop, fuck the bishop. Yeah, yeah. the bishop, bishop is, the, is the slit with the nipple. Yeah, yeah. the yeah. bishop sucks, yeah. yes. That's the worst one. I'm sorry. Right, That's well, on me. And you you can say right up front, you can see I'm not a board game expert. Yeah, but hey. you know, I just like board games. Do I we, like them too. We just, did we judge a book by its cover, Robbie, thinking you're a board game guy? <laughs> you did. <laughs> we we did. Definitely did. I've been talking about board games lately with Clem because we're going to do right. a series he did on that. my mom's basement where we're going to actually try to play some of these board games with the Barstool office, the Chicago guys. So maybe you're in trouble one day. Yes, perfect. Maybe you're in trouble one day. Perfect. So this is a good tease for that coming up on my mom's totally. basement. Um, so, yeah, we could just kind of do the order here. Also, this is 150th snake draft. I, did I mention that? I don't uh, think not, I don't know if I no. did. On air, you I don't did. think on air. So, kind of a milestone, I guess. But 150 is Woo! a fucking lot. Um, so here we go. Uh, Nick, our um, producer Harry has the number one through five behind his back. What number is it? Uh, can I flip the camera to see Harry? So I want to read his face. <laughs> Step on out here, Harry. Yeah. He Harry declines. <laughs> Get here. <laughs> He's a okay. Shy. Um. No. 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 Hearing his voice was all I needed. Uh. Harry, that's a that's a two. No. Rob. Fuck. Four. No. Chief. Three. Yes. I will go third. One through four. White Sox. Dave. One. Yes. I'll go first. You fucker. One through three. Me. Uh. Three. No. Uh. Nick. Uh. One. Yes. Two. Okay, one or two, Robbie. Two. No. So one to me. Um, all right, I'll. So one, I'll take last. All right, so Robbie or fourth. All right, so order is gotcha. White Sox, Dave, Nick, Chief, Robbie, Eddie. Before we get into it, though, guys, I do want to talk about our friends at Miller Lite because winter means more moments with the coolest people in your life. It's actually great, a great, great pairing for the draft topic today. Board games, Miller Lite. That's nice. Yeah, you want to pass go? Here's a Miller Lite. That would be that would be a nice way to spice up that game. It's very nice. So make these moments even better with Miller Lite, the great tasting light beer for people who love beer. A new year is perfect. It's a perfect time for friends, family, and a great tasting light beer. It's Miller time. Uh, Miller Lite is brewed for taste. It hits different than other light beers. It's made from simple ingredients. Miller Lite is for the people who love the taste of beer. It's that malted barley. It gives that rich, balanced toffee note flavors and the golden color you know and love. And it has a clean finish. It's always fresh, and it's refreshing and easy to drink. Miller Lite, great taste, 96 calories. Go to MillerLite.com slash Redline to find the delivery options near you. Or let's be honest, it's Miller Lite people. You could find this uh, pretty much anywhere that they sell beer. It's Miller time. Celebrate responsibly. Miller Brewing Company, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, 96 calories and 3.2 carbs per 12 ounces. All right, let's get underway. Okay. Let's uh, get this thing underway. White Sox. <clears throat> I'm going to start by pick. saying I really wanted the first overall pick. But now that Nick's behind me, I'm on yeah, tilt. I'm really kind of afraid of Nick in this. No, Mark don't be, like. guys. Don't be. Because, like, if I take – if I draft the games that like I go to conventions and play, I, like I could just be making up words. You guys I, I, I fully yeah, understand. Yeah, but I'll that. believe them. And so will the that. audience, and so will the voting committee. It's going to be interesting to see what route he goes. Like he could take the popcorn big box games, or is he going to take the ones that's close to? Yeah, yeah. Can no, we go over but that that's real not quick? really what, what I'm afraid of. I'm afraid of taking something and then Nick Him being like picking it. Yeah, and yeah. Be like, well, that actually means you're a psychopath. No, that's good. <laughs> that's no, 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 no. I, I, you guys are really overthinking this because. There's there's so many games I could say that like, uh, you, it, they'd be impossible to explain. It mm -hmm. would just be too much. No, no, you guys. Every game I'll say you'll you'll probably know. Okay. okay. And and we should say too, this is board game aisle, 
So, mm-hmm. like, if it doesn't necessarily yes. have a straight up board, it's still draftable. Like a card game? Correct. Okay. Yes. However, that was we, my question. like I said with the Nick earlier, like, a deck of cards and like solitaire does not count. No, no okay. one's gonna be an asshole like shit like that. Does I not count. Yeah. I also yeah. personally don't think like uh, the sports version of, and you, I think you know what I'm talking yeah. about. Yeah, like you're not drafting Nerf football either. Shit like that. All right, well, I got it. Well, what do well, you? No, what do you I, that's not what I meant. Yeah. Yeah, I know what you're saying. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. We'll all use our because it's all the same game. They yes. just change the name of certain. Well, I assume things. I know. Yeah. What you, Dave, take your pick and I'll I'm taking explain. Monopoly. Okay, Monopoly is yeah. my favorite board game ever. So that, a, let me tell you why that pick fucking sucks. <laughs> exactly why I didn't want Nick behind me. <laughs> um, I still love the game. I haven't played it in a minute, but it was a family tradition. Every time we go out to my grandparents in Jersey for Christmas or whatever, um, my mom had her mom's, my grandma's Monopoly set handed down to her, and it's still at my grandparents' house. They've lived there for like a thousand years. So it's like an OG set from like the 50s probably, and it's like got some you know, family lore for me. But the game itself is just super fun. I love what's, it. And then you add on the McDonald's thing. That was great when you were you that know, 12 was, years old. What's your favorite uh, piece to be? Uh, I was always the shoe. The shoe? Okay. Yeah. I was, I was a thimble man myself. A thimble? Yeah. Robbie? I, I, I think I was a thimble as well, if I'm being honest. Yeah, I liked the dog. or I feel like there was a top hat piece, too. Yeah, right? there was a yeah. top hat. I liked the dog uh-huh. or the top hat. Did you have I was one? a big fan of when they came out with the credit card version, and you stopped having to count the cash. Just swipe your card for Oh, I've minute. never seen that. See, that's too yeah. much for yeah. me. Counting your but cards no, and sliding it, it under it the board simpler. and making them all nice. How do, you, how do you accuse people of cheating when you're losing then? Be like, right. oh, you stole that extra money. Well, like, That's part of the yeah, fun. You can't, that you is can't kind of part that. of the fun, yeah. yeah. Oh, you I didn't have fucking... mixed feelings about Monopoly, though, because I do agree with the side of people that say you never finish any game. It's a boring game and nobody really knows the rules. There's a, it's a game that's driven by house rules. And so it's different everywhere you go. Yeah. That is a little true. It's a problem. Like everyone knows how to play, but nobody knows how to play. Yeah. 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 But that and makes it just it ends fun. whenever we, everyone's burnt out, essentially. No, we would, we would like go it's, to war in Monopoly, my siblings and I. It's such a commitment. It's, I kind it, of wonder if it would be time, like, like hours long. It's Could, hours long. Yeah. And it's not yeah. fun. And, yeah, it's, and, and like, you got to fight. Who wants to be the banker? Uh, the banker sucks. Oh, the banker. Ugh. You the don't even know Monopoly. what we're talking about, Robbie. <laughs> <laughs> you know who's going to win in Monopoly an hour before the game ends. Yeah, and but that's, that's, but that's still that, like hour three of the game. You got to roll the yes. dice and you <laughs> just know they're about to land on fucking boardwalk and, and you got a, a hotel there and they're about to give you all their money. It's the best. Nah. I, I okay love Monopoly one. and a four it's, hour it's, slow it's, baseball game. I wonder if you could be like, I'm you know sorry, I got like patience, uh, card night, like poker night with your buddies. Yeah. And you play for a long time. I wonder if you could be like, we're doing that, but instead we're playing Monopoly. And you just kind of sit around and bullshit and play. Because you're just sitting around bullshit and talking when you're playing cards. Could you do that with Monopoly? Or as an adult? I think people would get bored, no? I don't, unless yeah, I like, think so, too. Yeah. I think, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know if I could convince enough people to come and play a game of Monopoly. Yeah, okay. I mean... As adults, I don't think I could convince anybody to come play any board game. I think if you had oh, like, like March, March Madness is around the corner, and it's like, hey, like we're gonna be gambling on the games, but we're gonna play, we're gonna play Monopoly while the games are on, and you just sit there for four hours, and you got the games on, you're playing Monopoly. I think I could, I think that sounds like an yeah, all right like, time to me too. Like when yeah. I, yeah, like I'll go yeah. up to like a, a friend's cottage in Wisconsin in the winter, and you're kind of all holed up. You know what I mean? You got if you go for a weekend, you got time to kill. Yeah, and like up there, maybe the cable's bad or whatever. Then it's like you break out the board games. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. And there is right. a time and place for this kind of shit. And like we do oh, mix yeah. in Monopoly once in a while, but then when you mix in Monopoly, like you know, like you're setting up. It's like a four hour block, so I don't know. Yeah, it's gonna look good on the graphic, but I think we poked a lot of holes in this. I, I, but you, you know good. all that going in. And it's, that's it's just, like taking somebody one overall, but you know they have character issues. They, they, they were. It's they're the face of games. Yeah, it's Zion it, Williams. It really yeah. is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Does he have character issues? No, but he, he like. He gets but he gets Andrew. big. He's got ups. Yeah, not character. He's, he seems like a nice guy, but I'd like to know um, what he could have done on a football field. Um, our monopoly. But my point was, Dave, which, which is what I was trying to say. Like, you can't take NFL monopoly now. Yeah. Oh no no, right. no, 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 that's yeah. bullshit. Yeah, I got you. All right. 
Nick, you're the Yellowstone up. people they have sent Chicago me Yellowstone Mon- Monopoly. How the fuck? Ooh. It's still in the box. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah, like yeah, a. I wouldn't say that's a thing you play. I'd say that's just like a decoration piece. Yeah. You must have a real classy joint, Dave. <laughs> I do actually. <laughs> in fact, you'll be finding out soon enough. Yeah. yeah. And yep. by the time <laughs> yeah. you move in, you'll have a beautiful, beautiful surround sound system in the living room. Dude, I, but I'll have hell to pay if I touch your decorative monopolies instead of the one you play. <laughs> no, if a if, if, uh, studio or whoever sent me, and I so here's an example. I got a record sent to me of uh, it's a bunch of different musicians singing Sublime songs. Back to our conversation we had before oh, cool. the camera started, and it's uh, I never even took it out of the plastic. It's just sitting on my desk, like that's what I would do with it. Okay. As a decoration, as you said previously, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. One more, one more thing about Monopoly is there was the best version of it was made by Mad Magazine, and it was whoever could lose their money the fastest, and that was it was a faster game, and it was it was really good. That, you that sounds fun. It does sound. It fun. does sound Maybe fun. Just, yeah. yeah. Blow the wad. All right, uh, Nick. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna have to go with the OG then. Fifteen hundred years old. Got to go chess. Mm. Uh, had a resurgence. I think it's the only board game that uh, can be a centerpiece. It's the only board mm-hmm. game that can be decoration. Hot mm-hmm. chicks are playing it now on stream. It's 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 surpassed video games. Some large AAA video games on Twitch. Uh, it's uh, it's portable. You know, everybody has the chess app on their phone. It's the, it was the default game you played when the internet was out when you were growing up. You had chess on your computer. And solitaire, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that board game. Uh, but yeah, chess is, I think, the most iconic. I mean, Monopoly, you get into a fight with your friends. Chess teaches you war tactics, Dave. <laughs> um, so I'm, I'm going Monopoly. I mean, uh, I'm going chess. <laughs> You're going chess. <laughs> oh, that's a Freudian slip right there. You just said you liked my pick. I don't think it was Freudian, but uh, yeah. Dave, was, Dave is actually <laughs> sneaky pretty good at chess. That was funny. So Sydney no, Wells no. and her family, um, they're, they're like, they love playing chess. And her, it was me and her brother, who's like, he's 21 or 22, he's a young Something kid. Like that, yeah. um, we were the only two up, and we were having a few cocktails playing chess. And he he immediately, I knew what he was going to do before he even set up the chess board. He, I'm like, he's going to try to beat me in four moves. And the only way to combat the four-move checkmate is to just mimic their moves. So when he did that and I started like taking pieces from him, he was like getting frustrated because I was like holding my own. He ended up beating me by... A little bit, but he was a little annoyed with me. Yeah, I know you played chess, and I know you were pretty decent. Yeah, it's just a, it's a fun. It's a great it's a fun, game. It's a great game. You can converse. It's slower paced. You can. It's 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 a it's a great game, and I think like having a nice chess board really really pulls a room together. Yeah, I I agree, and I also feel like it's the only game on here where they build like entire like pop culture things around like the queen's gambit centered oh, yeah. around mm-hmm. chance searching for bobby fisher so, you know like all these different like shows and movies it's always like well it's built around chess um so yeah i like it. i was on a long flight one time where i couldn't sleep and they you know how they have the yeah. games in the back of the seat i did chess against the computer on beginner mode and i lost like every game for five <laughs> hours straight so yeah, even but, but it's, it was fun and you're trying different tactics. It's the only board game where you can become famous by being good at it. Yeah, that is also. That's a good I also point. feel like True. they they like measure genius by like what's the what's the score that they have. Um, so I think over over a fifteen hundred chess player is very good. I don't know what like grandmaster is, but like yeah. isn't that like isn't that the score that means you're pretty fucking good, or is it over a thousand? I I best? don't I don't know, but I know there is a score like that, but it's also like. Yeah, but they do like say like your brain is like a genius level like if you're Mensa. over a cer- certain level score. You ever gone to like Central Park and played with randos? Oh, those guys are hustlers. It's, it's way too intimidating. Yeah. yeah. They also say They'll that hustle, yeah. you will burn like if you are in like a vi- if you're like a grand ma- you're playing in like a very intense chess game, you'll burn more calories sitting there oh, than yeah. you would if you were to run like a 10k. Yeah, really? that's because your your brain, yeah, because your brain is just like. On fu- yeah, it's on fire, and you like yeah. start pouring sweat, and it's like that can't be true. I, th- well, it, it can do- I think it's true. directionally correct. <laughs> yeah, we're, you're on the right no path. I bet I, I can. I'm gonna look it up. Real, because it's like you you got to do a bunch of math and shit. You'll researchers suggest you that a chess miles? player could burn um, 132 <laughs> calories per hour. 
So no, that's not <laughs> that's pretty close good. to a ten. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's like, just like do chess players eight nine hundred calories. But yeah, that you're you're burning calories playing chess, even though you're yeah. only moving your Robert fingers. Robert Sapolsky, who studies stress in primates at Stanford, says a chess player can burn up to six thousand calories a day while playing in a chess tournament. Wow. That's a lot of calories. Yeah, actually, that's like Michael Phelps like shit. When I chess. ran the marathon, yeah. not to brag, it was like six thousand calories. Yeah. So there you wow. go. Also, you get the timer. I, I would love to. Slam I've never that played with one of those. Oh, I I've never, I've never pressed one. I know. Holy you shit. you have to win in fifteen minutes or something like that. I believe I think that's called blitz chess. But yeah, it's uh, it, yeah. There's there's all kinds of iterations, different different pieces. Of chess uh, boxing. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that I forgot. Are you guys familiar that. with chess boxing? Oh, that's I what I was going to so. draft next. No, is it kind of what I'm thinking about though? Like you move, make a it's, move. You just go one round boxing, one round chess, one round boxing, uh, one round chess. I've never heard this. That's kind of sick. And do you want to play some? Knockout. Do you want to, Nick? Actually, I'll propose this to you. We play a chess game and then we do rough and rowdy just a few times. <laughs> I think I think you're a better chess player than me. And then uh, if I train, I think uh, if we if I if I a year of training, I would do it against you. Okay. Let's Deal. Go. All right, we're in. Let's go. Um, I want that socially clipped. Too. Chess is a good pick, man. Yeah. It's something like when you walk across a board, if it's already set up, regardless of where it is, you're always, I'm down to play a game. Yeah. I'm going to start shoehorning as many Shawshank Redemption references into this show for as as I possibly can. And Andy Dufresne like to uh, make chess pieces in his jail cell. Yeah. Oh, carve them out of little rocks. Yeah, with the rock blanket. Chief, you're rock up. hammer. Um, I'll take risk. Game of world domination. Uh, I love. I, I. That's one of those. A lot of these I don't think I've played in probably fifteen, yeah, maybe twenty years. But I remember I went through like a risk phase in like middle school, high school. Like it's that awesome. was one of the, if it's we were gonna powers out playing risk by candlelight. That was a good time. So I, I love risk. Uh, another one that has like some pop culture references with like Seinfeld and stuff. But I think risk is risk is a is a <laughs> great Ukraine game. is weak. Yeah. Uh, I so tried to play once over COVID, and I, I couldn't understand it. I'd love to play one time. It's a yeah. fantastic I, yeah. I'd have to, like, it has been a long time, but I remember it being, like, w- this is intense. We played it really in high fun. school yeah. for, uh, I think the class was called International Relations. It was my favorite class I ever took, but it's, like, you got graded based on how you performed in chess for a certain segment of that class. Risk? Uh, or risk, rather. And you'll you learn a lot of strategy. It's also a thinking man's game. Obviously, there's luck involved with dice and shit, but it's I love that game. I think the first three picks are exactly how they should have gone. In I my agree. opinion, uh, Risk is fantastic. It, it actually of all those like childhood games you think of, uh, that I think that's the one that holds up the most. I had a permanent Risk board, like it was painted on a coffee table, Ooh. and so with the score and everything. Um, yeah, it, Risk is it, Risk is fun. Um, there's some issues with time and like I think the setup of risk is a little long and stuff like that, but it's it's good. What when you go to these board game conventions, is there like an area it's like, oh, like this is like the, the center of it? And like what's at the center of like what's like the, the must see thing at a board game convention? So it's just like all every board game designer has like different uh, different sections of it. And so, I don't know, it just depends on what type of game you like. I know okay. there's it's a French award for best board game of the year, and I forget what it's called, um, but it that that it setup is usually like the, the epicenter of everything um, or like new announcements of expansion packs for games. But yeah, there, there's like giant settlers of Catan there and stuff. It's okay. just, it's, it's, it's an interesting place. You Here. see people playing massive strategy board games at like even Comic Con and Star Wars oh, Celebration yeah. and stuff like that. And when you get to the board game area, it is like an eyesore because you just see table after table after table and probably thousands of pieces. It's crazy stuff. Yeah, yeah, it really is. I'd love to play someday. So if this is part, I, I don't, don't know. know. Board game, the board game resurgence is insane <clears> too <throat> because I think on Kickstarter it. Bo- the board game category out earned the video game category on Kickstarter last year. No really? shit. That's nuts. That's wow. interesting you say that because we brought that up before the draft. Dave said the kids still play. And yeah. we're like, ah, probably video games. So board games are booming, huh? Yeah, board games. It's, it's, yeah, it's a good time to be a board game. Hmm. Wow. I um, On that note, I would like to officially 
invite you to the Chicago Comic Con on March 31st through April 2nd. Both of you guys, I think that'd be great if we did that. Yeah, I'm not yeah, even kidding. Yeah, let's do it. Love that. Yeah, come and on, just go right, fuck come on out. Come yeah. on out. Would absolutely love that. Get some Portillos in me. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Uh, Rob, you're up. All right, I'm gonna go with Scrabble. This is a tried and true classic, one that's been around forever, and another one of the few that has actually survived the transition to phones. Yep. Words mm -hmm. with friends and apps like that, very popular. I think Scrabble's a good one for everybody. Good one that you can get the family playing because the games can be pretty quick. You can play a Scrabble game in an hour, I think, hour and a half. Um, so yeah, I'll go with Scrabble. I feel like that's a, a decent first round pick. I like it. I ended up uninstalling uh, Words of Friends because I was like addicted to it when I was 20 years old. I was a great game. I went through time. a big Words of Friends yeah. phase for a minute too. I think a good a big part about board games is like the tactile feel of it and that bag of of tiles and reaching in there. It's a good feel. That's good true. Sound. And I've always wanted to eat one of those tiles. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> What's stopping you? Yeah. What's stopping you? Yeah. yeah. What would you Just dip those it? Perfect with? squares. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. You got like a favorite sauce that you dip it in, or you you'd go raw dog it? I think I'd have chili. It depends on the letter. Okay. Um, but I, you know, I, I've always wanted. I think the blank ones look the best. They're the wild ones. Oh, okay. Yes. Oh yeah. That. You're speaking my language. Little ranch. <laughs> I like that. Um, all right. Also, rabble. just lining up the letters that you have and like spelling out like boobs or something if you got the yeah, right letters. Yeah. That's oh yeah. Great. That was nice. That was always my goal. A nice no matter part. what. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Boobs, no. ass, fart. Really? <laughs> yeah. yeah. The, one, the one downside of Scrabble is when you're playing with a dickhead friend that doesn't know if it's a word, and they're like, well, let's look it up. Just like, no, you yeah. gotta know. Yeah. Agreed. Scrabble off the board, it's to me. Um, ah, I might struggle here. I'm not a, I'm not a huge board game uh, you aficionado. You've got some heavy, I heavy guess. hitters on there. There know. are, but I guess I, it's just like how many times have you played and like how much do you, you know. Like, sure, I've played them all a couple times, but. I'll go with all right. I'll go with one that's a heavy hitter that I, I've definitely played. I just wish I played it more because I'm very intrigued by it, and it's Clue. Um, yeah. yeah. Fucking Colonel Mustard. And they the, great characters in the library. Yeah, great yeah. characters. Yeah. They stand the test of time. Can you guys name the only Clue weapon that wasn't made of metal on the board? Was it the it's rope? Been way no? too it was the long. Rope. Yeah, it was the rope. Oh. Yeah, good call. All right, I thought Whoever it was. Said that. Thought it was the rope. Mm -hmm. yeah. Tell the tell the people about Miss Peacock, Ed. Miss Peacock. I mean, geez. yeah. Nick just gave his O face right there. Mm. <laughs> would you give Miss Peacock a throw? Well, it's Mrs. Peacock, so she t would be committing adultery. Oh. But um, would you give she her a throw? Could have been widowed, uh, but yeah, I, yeah, I'd rock her world. Yeah, she might have <laughs> murdered her husband. Yeah, that's true. Nick's, Nick's giving her the lead pipe in the conservatory. <laughs> <laughs> and, and the thing about Clue is I feel like it almost spawned so many of these new mystery type games that exist. I mean, today. they made a movie. Yeah, out of they it. made a movie. Yeah. out. Of yeah. It. A good movie. Yeah. Yeah. Who was the lead in that? Was it? That wasn't Robert Downey, was it? No. Oh, no. That was you're thinking of. The, uh, it was uh, Butler from Home Alone, too. I know who you're talking about. What's his name? Oh, Tim it's, Curry? It's that guy. It's yes, that Tim guy? Curry. Tim Curry? Oh. Yeah. He's in Clue, huh? Yeah. How old is that movie? Really? A board the game. 80s. Made 90s? No, yeah. not the 80s, was it? I thought it was the 80s. No, 90s, I think. 90s? And it came no. out with three different endings, depending on which theater you saw it in. I Holy honestly shit. thought they made a, a nice new one. Cool. That's cool. That's um, legit. That is cool. I'd never heard that. It was 85. See? So that's oh, what wow. I'm saying. Okay. I'm sure there's a new murder mystery game like this that's out now that maybe has a better twist on it than Clue, that may be better, but Clue's classic. Mm -hmm. so, uh, Clue's my pick. Um, next one, interesting how, interesting how this is going to go over, but I fucking, I still love some Guess Who. I yeah, love Guess, guess Who. Guess it, was who's awesome. my, it was on my list. I like Guess Who. I, there's something about just flapping those fucking yeah, things down. Yeah. You know, yes. you just, just shut the fridge. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> nope. It's a great sound. Yeah. It is. It's an excellent sound. Yeah. It's an it awesome is. sound. Yeah. Yeah. Dear guy got hair coming out of his ears. Nope. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. <laughs> oh. See That's you great. later. <laughs> Glasses. <laughs> Not a shot. Um, and that's also, it's clues. I mean, guess who is for everybody? Yeah. 
What do you mean? Mm-hmm. Definitely. You could play game. that with a four year old and it's fun. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. There's, there's Just nothing to it. dominating a toddler in that. Yeah. Yeah. There's nothing to it. But there, you can't, you also can't age out of it either. That's what I mean. Okay. Yeah. Like, there's no, it's from six to 80. There's also, I'm You're looking in, at the people who. right now. I remember Sam, the old guy. I feel like George was the old guy, but George, no, Sam, Marie. Sam, Sam, George, a lot of old people. Maria, Maria is like the only hot one of the whole, the whole board. So oh, they, have they updated it? I don't know. I don't, I don't think, think so. you can say that. You can't objectify guess who characters. Yeah, yeah. No, like, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> and you're also only looking at their head. So how do we true. know what's really going true, on? True, true, true. Oh, yeah, that is true. true. Catfished by a guess who character. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like. <laughs> Like sure, Bill may have a fat face, but he might be chiseled. You know what I mean? Never know. I can see White Sox Dave being like, "Does your woman have large breasts?" And it's like, Dave, (laughs) none of them have breasts. Dave, (laughs) well, Susan might. Look at those rosy cheeks. You're telling me she's not packing heat? (laughs) Not packing nice sweater hands? What are you saying, Nick? Like an X-rated Guess Who of naked ladies would fly off the shelf. Fuck yeah, I would. bet you we could make a Guess Who of just Barstool personalities. We could sell those at Black oh, Friday, yeah. Cyber Monday. Yeah. Get or, or does your phone. guy have yeah. a, a beard <laughs> up to It'd be hard phone. to get between me and Nick, though. We, we, we would have to, you know, if we're both no wearing different. A, a beard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, you guys... And, and now that you got the long hair, it's all you guys are all blending in yeah. together. I'll, I'll cut it before yeah. we make a board game. I, okay. I promise you, Robbie. Okay, good. <laughs> Fair. Um, so, yeah, guess who? All right, I'm surprised that went over so well. Does your girl have pepperoni nips? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, kind of mind boggling that there's not an X rated guess who, if you're being honest. I think honest. we like, should put it I think we're on to something here. I think we're yeah. on to something. Yeah. All right, Harry, Let's cut this part out so we can before, be onto yeah. it privately. Before only yeah. stands fucking takes this. Yeah. <laughs> and, and Glenny has a photo shoot of, with all the women who come in. Um, all right, Robbie, back you're to up. me here. Yep, I'm gonna I'm gonna kick the door open a little bit and I'm gonna open things up to card games. I'm gonna go Uno with my second pick. Mm. I absolutely love Uno and always have. This was the middle school card game for us at lunch. We had all the different versions as well. You know, the SpongeBob Uno, the Star Wars Uno, the whatever Uno, and whatever version you have. When you slap down that draw four, and then someone slaps down a draw four on top of it, and you start piling up on someone, there's no better feeling of camaraderie. And then when it comes back around to you, if it does come back around to you, there's no bigger feeling of heartbreak. So I love Uno. I think it's like the best card game out there and another one that I feel like you can't age out of. So there's my second pick. I, I would agree. That Uno is a great game. Yeah. And a great game that it's like. Well, it turned into a drinking game. All of this just makes me it's wish I still played board games. Like that's that I'm having like big time like nostalgia feels. But also is there's there's nothing really preventing me from doing this. Like, no. I could probably organize. Yeah, something. you probably could. Yeah. The, I, Ed, you want to play some board games with that, the phone? Uh, the up? phone killed the board game. Yeah, too. that Guthrie's Tavern yeah. over by me has board games just out to play like oh, yeah. all the time. That's their and thing. They, yeah. It's a good spot. Mm-hmm. All right. To me? Yep. To yep. You. All right. So I'm going a little bit different <clears throat> as well. Uh, I'm going Connect Four. I love Connect God Four. Damn it. Yeah, you like that one? Yeah. It's awesome. I, the instructions are the title. <laughs> that's all you need to know it's it's yeah. simple but like their strategy and it's it's like an elevated oh, i don't even know if this is counted but it, it i don't so i don't want to say it but t- uh, connect oh, yeah. four is fucking great and that was one that i feel like you've got it in like second grade it's still fun today and uh it i can't take five minutes yeah or less depending yeah. on how stupid you are and uh, yeah, so I love I love Connect Four. So and that's another one. Is I will... someone in the office like uh, is Smitty right? Yeah, Smitty, clean... Smitty has cracked the code. He can't be beat. Like actually, yeah. So Smitty is really good. I, I will say we filmed our first episode of the little Barstool Plays board games assignment, and Connect Four was the board game that we chose. So we played with Smitty, Glenny, Clemmer, Frank the Tank. It was very interesting to see who was on top at the end of that tournament. Very Ooh. interesting. Look out for it. I will look out for that. This also, I like. Is this the highest grossing maybe ever? I mean, chess is up there too. But I chess feel like. But listen, 
there was no classroom in America that did not have a connect for that's true that is true you know how With like a couple missing pieces right yeah there was not one in America that didn't have this I this is maybe another business idea you know how you said highest grossing chess has like I remember my aunt had a chess set made shut up Dave made out of marble and it was like these it was like beautiful there's no like high-end Connect fours. Connect four, I feel yeah. like we can oh. make a high end Connect Four. We should sell Field it for twenty four hundred dollars, and I was, say, uh, I was at Dave and Buster's for Kyle's birthday last week, and they have basketball Connect Four now. So it's the basketball hoops that you're like trying to connect four with. It's 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 mind bogglingly great. The one that in Times Square. Awesome. Yeah. I was just there. Yeah. And also like the tactile feel of it, like not only the clink of dropping Ooh, your yeah. pieces. But when the game's over and you get to slide that little thing out and they all come collapsing down, <laughs> yeah. that's good stuff. Another great sound. Oh, that's Another great, great sound. Yeah. It's an awesome sound. That's great stuff. Impressive pick here, too. I kind of want to go back to, like, company sounds and draft the Connect 4 board. Connect 4. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's a good one. That's a good one. That is good. Um, Nick, you're up again. Um, I didn't want to take this, but it kind of fell to me. Uh I'm going with the other, when you think of games, it's the second one that you say after chess. Yeah. I'm taking checkers. Um, you know, every Cracker Barrel has it, and that's a great time. You could play with your grandma, you could play with the two-year-old. Uh, you know, King Me, great feeling. Uh, getting the chess, the big chess set that's on the blanket that you could probably buy at the Cracker Barrel General Store. It's a easy game to learn, very quick setup. Uh, you could play against anybody. It defies language, boys. Uh, it's checkers. What do you think about people? One. What do you think about chess people that are now too sophisticated to play checkers? I consider myself one of them. I think it's just so, too so, easy and boring. Uh, oh, Dave! The, the one <laughs> checkers thing stinks. About, the one bad thing about chess is that it's gotten like pompous, and I think it always has. Yeah, been. I think it has. Yeah, which kind of sucks. But then you're just like, Dave. I bet you there is hmm, ten million. Chinese kids under the age of 10 that could beat you in chess very easily. I don't doubt that at all. Right, but I, I just think chess 10 million really American kids under 10 that could beat me in chess easily. I walked into the office today and Francis and Che were playing chess against each other. That, that huh. makes With a physical sense, board actually. they had in the office? Yeah, with a physical board over on Francis' desk. Wow. Cam uh, cameras I, off I can't or... believe Dave thinks he's above checkers. That's the craziest thing I've ever heard in my checkers life. Checkers has never gotten anybody's juices flowing. The only time Checkers has been great is when Thurman Merman beat Billy Bob Thornton in Bad Santa, and he freaks Bad out Santa. about it. Uh, games are meant to pass time, and I don't think there's, like, you know, if you're waiting for your meal to come out, if you're waiting for your potatoes and dumplings to come out of Cracker Barrel, uh, you're playing Checkers. I don't Hopping play Checkers at pieces, Cracker Barrel. pieces, got a but better color scheme than, than chess. Yeah, yeah. And as it's placed too, it's it's a, it's like the training wheels. It's the bumpers of yeah um, yeah, the bowling bumpers. Um, all right, checkers off the board. Back to you, White Sox, Dave. I'm going to go with one. I'm actually very glad that this got back to me. I'm going with Battleship. Battleship's fun. Everybody loves it. It's insanely easy to play, and there is no better feeling when you're playing against one of your boys as a little ten year old when you sink that fucking battleship. And you're like. You know the game's over. I see. Like I, you're too good for checkers, but like Battleship is like a four. You know, yeah. like you just it's fucking checkers. But it's 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 there's a little. It's more than. How do I want to put this? There's way less strategy in checker in ch in uh, Battleship there. Yeah, there I don't think so. Checkers, well, you just move diagonally just, until you, you fucking what, what, what was your what was your thesis on again, Nick? What was your what was your senior thesis on again? You're in trouble. Or board game design? Board game. And, and you th you think it has more strategy in checkers, correct? I think Battleship has less strategy. I, I would agree, yeah. I think it's, I think that's a guessing game. Correct. Uh, Battleship, Battleship is flipping a coin. Right. That's all you need to play Battleship. Whatever it is. Who cares? It's fun. It's more entertaining than checkers. Well, but you, you can were sink your boy's above. Battleship. Yeah, but I, getting king is sweet too. Getting king's pretty sweet. I'm not gonna. <laughs> I'm not taking anything is. away there from getting king. Okay, dude, it's so uh, sick. You put a fucking red little dot into his battleship. Yeah. Exactly. No, no. <laughs> battleship has a really good design. The game itself isn't great, but like the face-to-face -face aspect. Right. The little ships looked awesome, and then the you, had, like, you had the you the had pegs. the radar in front of you. Yeah, it was sick. 
Thank you. A really bad movie though, because though if we're talking about Clue being a movie, Battle Battleship yeah. with Rihanna, mm-hmm. not great. I didn't see. Don't that. come after Riri though, you know. Yeah, I will. The fans I'll, will don't slay that. you, Nick. No, no one's doing no, no, that. No, Battleship. She was the best. We've part done 150. <laughs> we've done 150 of these. You guys are gonna sink us over Riri. Battleship. <laughs> sink us. Hey. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Battleship's solid. Yeah. Yeah. Dave. I'm going to go with this is uh, also a nostalgia play. We're all – oh, Bob Fox, I don't know if you got into this one because you might be a little too young. But uh, the other four of us, I think you'll appreciate this pick. I'm going with Crossfire. And not just the game, the commercial was awesome. So I, I am too young for that. I don't know what Crossfire is. I don't know if I ever played Crossfire. You get these little no. these little silver BBs, and there's four players, and there's uh, – it's a – I don't know. How, how would you describe it, Nick? There's a little thing with like a ball in it that spins on the board, and you take the guns and you shoot it at the thing, and whoever shoots it into the other person, they win. It's actually only two players. I, I remember players? I never had it. I always wanted it because that was the, probably the best commercial on right. television. Right. Crossfire. Crossfire. Ooh, I remember that. Yeah. I don't think I remember ever playing the game. It was, it was game, fun, though. but I don't, eventually someone would swallow the little BBs. Yeah. And you'd I, have but to, I, didn't, like, you I never knew anybody that had it. Uh, but the the commercial alone uh, makes it a decent pick. Same. I never played it, but I, How I know have the, you guys I never know, played Crossfire. Never played it. I know the commercial. The commercial was great. Mm-hmm. Crossfire. This is like your typical like our. Uh, it's like a Nickelodeon. 19- yes. Like they bought a yes. lot of ad time. Mm-hmm. Yes. On Viacom, Nickelodeon. Like you were watching Figure It Out. They were playing that Crossfire in the the slot yep. right when that show ended. Yep, and yeah. had great. You might have even been winning Crossfire on Figure It Out as yeah. like a runners up prize. You won that and the Yamaha radio. They always gave those. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember yeah. that was a big prize. The Yamaha um, Crossfire. Okay, pick Nick. Back You've to never you. played it. You can't judge it. Yeah, I know, but it shocks me you haven't played it. Is it back to me? Yeah, it back is. To you. Yep. I was actually okay. Um, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Categories. Um, great pick. Yeah, really fun game. Uh, the die itself is what twenty sided, cool, unique piece. Uh, it gets really heated. Uh, you know, you can play with a larger group of people. My other two games I picked were all one on one. This one's great in a big group. It's even harder in a big group because if somebody picks the same word as you, uh, cancels out, gets heated, gets fun, uh, and every every time you play is different. So is this, uh, give me categories. Is this the one that has like like a clay? There's some kind of like clay element to it. I forgot. No, no. That's, that's, You're thinking uh, of a different game. Okay. You're all thinking right. of cranium. Okay. Yes. Uh, uh, categories is the big die. Uh, it has all the letters on it. Let's and then you have a list. It'll okay. be like a list of animals, tools, clothing, and then all of it has to start with the same letter. Hmm. Yeah, so if you roll the letter, you roll 26 face dice, you roll, you get the letter L, you get a sheet, and it's like animal, and it's like lion. And then if someone has the same one, then you cross it off, but it's whoever gets the most gotcha. in the right time. Yeah, I don't know if I ever it's played this It's a kind of one. expensive board game. It's 25 bucks for it. This is my no, favorite. That, that is cheap in the board game community. <laughs> well, what's is, a box is, of what's a Monopoly game cost in 2023? Oh, it's probably 20 to 30. Really? Yeah, that feels expensive Definitely. for me. Yeah. I, I would have guessed like 10 bucks, but hmm. back but, back when this is probably my games, favorite. I'm sure they were. Yeah. I don't know if I've ever played it to be honest. It's a great uh, like just sitting around at the table, like drinking, having a couple okay. of beers. Like this is it, a good, a good like, game to have with beers. Yep. Very good game. All right. Beers. Like a game while drinking, not a drinking game, if that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a good one. I like to pick a lot. Thank you. Chief. Uh, I'll take Trivial Pursuit. So Trivial, I think everybody. I was hoping it got back to me. Everybody loves trivia. Yeah. Jeff Delo has proven that. We all love trivia. Trivia is on at every bar. This is like you're sitting around. You can do it. I think you can do it as team sometimes. But I think six-player game max, every category of different things you want. Trivial Pursuit, you fill that little fucking pie thing the as you pie. go along, getting the, dip, Ooh, yeah. getting the different categories, trying to get in that center ring. So I think Trivial Pursuit is like of the trivia games. I think Trivial Pursuit's the best. It so. definitely is of the trivia. I games. like the I like the dozen card game more on the barstool store. But that's yeah, me personally. <laughs> that that too. Um, 
But no, the Trivial Pursuit, I really like that if you get your question right, you can keep going. And so if you're on a heater, oh, you're on top of the world. <laughs> that, that was going to be also my, my next pick. So I hate that I, you took it, but I love the pick. I consider Trivial Pursuit, but I don't like games that can expire. You know, when you go to your grandma's and you pull out Trivial Pursuit and it's from the, the 40s, you're not getting a single question right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is true. Good point. Yeah. And it's like if you play it a couple times, you start to memorize the questions. Yeah. That's the problem with the trivia games like that. That is true. It's one of those things. But, like, how often do we play board games? So if, if you break it out yeah, th- twice a year, I think you're, it's hitting pretty good it's for you. It's four mm-hmm. categories, correct? I think it's six. Or six. six and in those think, categories, yeah. you have, like, a thousand cards in them. A so. lot of them, yeah. Mm. Trivial pursuit. Small hold a poke, but I don't think it's that big a deal. <clears throat> All right, Robbie, you're up. So I was going to go Trivial Pursuit. I'm going to go with Stratego. Stratego. I like Stratego. Have you guys played I've this? Never, I, yeah. I know yeah. I love it. I've never played it, though. I love Stratego growing up, mostly because mine was the Star Wars version of it. So I was, instead of protecting my king and queen or whatever, I was protecting Padme and Anakin or whatever. I absolutely loved this game, though, and the aspect of turning your pieces around, not knowing what you're attacking, not knowing who you're about to go up to. All of that was so much fun, not knowing if you're about to go into a bomb or a thermal detonator, as it was called in my game. I think this is like an enhanced version of Checkers, essentially. It's like Checkers, but on a new level. I feel like in my brain, it's just like Checkers and Risk, in a way, kind of combined. Yeah, yeah, that's a good good way to put it, I think. It's been a long time since I've played. No, I, I used to really like Stratego when I was like 9, 10. I thought Stratego was great. So good. I was actually I between I Trivial Pursuit world. and Stratego, but since I had Risk, I went a different direction. Smart. It looks fun. Never played it, but just I just pulled it up, game. and it looks like it's a solid game. Yeah. I'd fuck with some Stratego. Mm-hmm. Um, all right, to me... Before I make my third round pick, though, I do want to talk about the exclusive ticketing partner of Barstool Sports, and that's, of course, Game Time. They crack the code on how to score deals on last-minute tickets, and right now, Game Time is a special offer for the big game. All users, not just first-time users, can get $100 off their big game ticket purchase with code BARSTOOL100. Hey, the big game... The big game. The big game. Barstool 100, $100 off. That's huge. I'd love to get to the big game at one point. I mean, you could save that money, get some concessions, get some merch, get a jersey. You could it goes do a, a long lot. way. It goes a long way. It yeah. does. So download the Game Time app or go to the website, enter your email, and redeem code DOGWALK for $20 off your first purchase. Terms do apply. And uh, if you're uh, going to the big game, get $100 off your purchase with code Barstool 100 even if you've uh, bought tickets with game time before. So cool, nice little new promo. And then, of course, we got the uh, classic awesome $20 off your first purchase if you have not used the game time yet app, game time app yet uh, with uh, dog walk promo code. So what? go check that out. Just use game time. You want to know what I just did, Ed? What'd you do? Uh, Taste Friday on Wednesday. I had to call it the White Sox about my season ticket package. I told them Pound Center, I got, I got game time now. I like that. Yeah. Pound Center, we got game time. Code dog walk, go use it. Um, all right, here's what uh, I'm going to go with. Um, all right, I like games when you get animated and, like, people get going. And pe- there's a little anger. People go back and forth. And I think this one's good at that. It's catchphrase. You get yeah. the fucking saucer. Yeah, like you're banging on the side. You're, you're acting. You know what I mean? It, it, people get... People get a little little crazy, and I think that's like a fun aspect of board games. We would do this pre-gaming in college sometimes, too. We would play a catchphrase. There was this and one other game that we would play like quite a bit while we were pre-gaming, and catchphrase gets people going. It gets people animated. It, it gets people hyped. Yeah, it's a, it, like when that buzzer starts going like faster, like that sound goes faster and faster, you know it's expiring. You have to be like a primetime player. you got to be have that clutch gene going. Yeah. Real smackable button, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, like, oh. It's like an old school alarm clock. That thing's great. Oh, yeah. And it's the, like the difference is, is yes, like Checker's obviously a classic. You said Cracker Barrel. You play that to pass time. This, you actually, you finish it, you're like, hey, that was fun. Yeah. Let's play it again. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That was fun. Next time you drink, it's like, who wants to play catchphrase? And people are like pumped up. So I like catchphrase a lot. So that's my pick. Good pick. I like it a lot. Uh-huh. You want to play catchphrase? I've never played it. I Let's think go to Target like after this. I think yeah. you'd like Send it. Send Hano over. 
Yeah, Target has a great. That it's the um, best. They I have a say. great video uh, board game. I, mm -hmm. I think it's the best. Um, next pick. I interesting. Interested to see how this will go over. But you know what, man. Sometimes I like to throw on the fucking surgical surgical gloves <laughs> and play some operation. It's still fun. If there was an operation board sitting right here, I'd be like trying to not get buzzed. Like, ooh, exactly. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, that was boys, fucking. I've been out with you boys. I know we all have the shakes. It's not happening. <laughs> I was. Yeah, I we don't we, need a surgeon I, or I think we hand. aged out. I think I'm aged out, but that doesn't mean I can't remember. My my nephew just got it for Christmas. Did he? Yeah. So I think they still they still. Are obviously make it and i think kids still enjoy it i always hated it because i always sucked at it i fucking Same. hated that game so and it's also like it's hard to think at like six seven eight years old you're like i can never be a doctor because i can't yeah. fucking do yeah, this game right. yeah like so to have like your dreams or like a potential career path dashed like in your formative years is tough it's tough pill to swallow but Good game. Those that. were great commercials too. The Can operation we turn it into a drinking game? Operation? Like you got to take a shot of Malort yeah. every time you get buzzed. Uh, yeah, that's it. You might be better at drinking game. That, that, honestly, you might be. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just like calm the nerves yeah, a little bit. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I, surgeons should start boozing a little bit before uh, surgery. <laughs> I think they <laughs> yeah. should. If I were to go perform or open heart surgery like I intended to do when I graduated college, I would go straight to the liquor store and polish off like a six pack. Jesus You'd have Christ. to. Okay. Yeah. If I were six. a medical doctor wow. or surgeon. I, be, I bet you heart surgery is easier than trying to pull the wishbone out of that fucking dude. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I, the wishbone. So How did hard. you? I don't think it was possible. I think it was like they made it impossible just to fuck with people. I think so too. I had the Shrek version, and he would yell at you if you hit his sides. He'd be like, oh, donkey, you know? <laughs> There's a Shrek version? While you're trying to get his ear wax out. I'm ordering that right now because I need to see Dave play the Shrek <laughs> operation. Dave, Shrek operation. <laughs> yeah. It'll be in route. I'm legit ordering it right now. Yeah. yeah. Holy fuck. Watching him. Oh, my God. This is unbelievable. Wow, there's a lot. Baby Yoda and shit. Um, so, yeah, operation. Operations. It's a fun I game. I like the pick, Ed. Thank you. Thank you. Um Talk Top. about mindless. All you got to do is just not get buzzed. That's all you got to do. They, they should be like, uh, <laughs> so like, they should put like is a spy it? camera in the, oh, like the surgeons. Yeah. And then they <laughs> could know who's like pass or fail. It's like, hey, sorry, you're not cut out. Like, let's save you the time. Like, you, yeah. can't, you can't even beat the operation game, pal. Um, uh, I'm going to go with another time passing game, a game that you could find on the table of a bar and play to pass the time before you get your drinks or food, or a game that they could bring into the Barstool office and it could take over the entire HQ. Jenga. You could get Ooh. giant Jenga, you could get small Jenga. It really works either way. It's made a giant resurgence since the, the large form Jenga came out, obviously. It's a big bar game. And when we did it with stool streams and all of that kind of stuff, Oh my God, those games got so intense, but they were also so much fun. Like Dave was getting really animated and into them and it was just a good time in the office. So I, I associate Jenga with good memories now. I'm going with Jenga. I like Jenga. Jenga's fun. I don't, I feel like it's not a board game. It's it's not a board game, but I think you absolutely find it in the board game aisle. Yeah. For sure in the board game aisle. I'm not gonna say nothing. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not vetoing, but I, I didn't have it on my list because I I feel like it, it just doesn't doesn't equate to what we're doing in my head. But Interesting. No. I'm tired of every bar thinking they're cool because they get giant Jenga. Nobody's playing that at bars. It's all, They're always sitting there. I never see anybody playing that right. Jenga. Not in the last. Well, the giant Jenga, the issue is the setup. It, it's loud as fuck when they go down. That's, too. Yeah, yeah that, that too. You make a scene. If you bruise, your, a bruise your toenail playing that game. You could damn near bruise your toe. Yeah. I never even thought of that. Yeah. <laughs> you watch out. Toe now, it's not fun. It sucks. It hurts. Jenga's speaks to itself, though. The reason that these bars still have it, like people, people must be fucking playing it, right? And what a it's... simple concept, huh? Just yeah. fucking three blocks, three blocks, put them on there like a s'more and just keep stacking them. That's the whole game. Mm -hmm. Simplicity's key. It is. Yeah. It is. Uh, Chief, you're up. Hmm. My list is getting a little thin now. Um, 
as is mine. I will. I'll take. Um, I'll take apples to apples. It's a card game. Nice. Uh, I don't know what you don't know what that is. I I I know what it is. Oh, why are you laughing? I'll tell you off. Camera. All right. <laughs> okay. This was. <laughs> <laughs> what kind, yeah, what kind, it's, of, it's, it's what a, it's kind like, of apples to apples story could you possibly what kind of have? I can't story tell you. Can you have about <laughs> apples to apples? Can you just tell it? No, I can't. I really can't. Can you tell can you us? Tell and all then... of us off there? Yeah, and then we'll no, cut I, it? No, because I don't trust you. <laughs> Why don't you I'll tell us and we'll be like a moral compass if you can or can't yeah. say that. True. No, I'm not going to say it. But you Just can't do it. that. You get mad at me for that. You I didn't do anything. You did. Dude, I you... promise you whatever I'm thinking now is way worse than what it is. What do you think it is, Nick? And then we'll just say Dave said it. I, I wish he didn't do that. I was just saying that to get him to say it. <laughs> I, I think he, Dude, you he got came cheap, home, you saw his girlfriend, not me. She, she had an apples to apples card in her vagina. No. Something. Yeah. No, 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 Something. No, 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 no. Is it girl know. related? There were girls involved, yes. Did you play like strip apples to apples? Perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> You're okay. getting down the right path. <laughs> it sounds like that's the path. Uh, not fully. So it's worse than that. Not worse. Were you the only one naked, Dave? No, I wasn't the only one naked. On All right, you guys got enough out of me. Talk about apples to apples. Now it's a shitty game. The game stinks. Dave had a bad experience with apples to apples yeah. with strip apples to apples. It wasn't strip apples to apples. <laughs> Sounds like it. Were you wearing like tidy whities or something? No. Dude, how Boxer old boots. were you? 18, maybe? I was in high school. Dude, just, just, just have sex, man. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think I was trying to do? You don't need to go. All, you don't have to go through the hoops of strip apples to apples. I know. I'm well, picturing him with like a couple apples to apples cards over his dick, like he's Adam from it up. the Bible. <laughs> yeah. Can we talk about the game now? Oh, hold on, hold on. I, did you? Did you? Like, did you? Did, I'm done. Did you close? I gave you enough. All right, I'm just asking. Were the cards getting stuck together by the end of the night? <laughs> maybe, maybe. I'll let you guys use your imaginations from yeah. this point. Oh, we're gonna. You brought it up. <laughs> I didn't bring it up. Chief brought it up. I don't know the story. But you, you looked at me like you got an apples to apples story. <laughs> Dude. Which you do. Yeah. So you but like if you had just I didn't been, say anything about but it. But if though. you had just been st stone faced. I heard apples to apples, and I reacted because I hadn't thought about it in a minute. Okay. Um, and then I heard it. Yeah, I was like, apples to apples. I, I think it's a fun game. I think Dave had more fun with it is what it sounds like. And I actually yeah. hate that game. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> All right. But this this was catchphrase and apples to apples. That was the other game that I was thinking of for, like, uh, like freshman, sophomore year pregame at good old Lake Forest College where – I don't know, like you could like kind of fuck with people a little bit, be like, oh, like this card's for you. And like, it's a little like mind games a little bit. And like, you can kind of sneaky make fun of people while you're playing. Um, so yeah, apples, to apples, great game. Uh, I have a take about apples, to apples. I think it's more fun than cards against humanity. Cards against humanity. I agree. Is I agree. Is that your pick? <laughs> no. What? <laughs> He's shitting. He's mad at you for tipping a pick. It's, you know, oh. it's the whole draft. Yeah, and it's, it's, and whatever, blah, blah, blah. I get bad. what you're saying, though. Bad, Dave. No, it's not a big deal. I don't care. I, uh, well. So that's the premise, though, right? Because I did forget. So Apple, it's, it's the PG so version. It's the same exact game. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. the same game. Really? Mm -hmm. and cards I think Cards Against Humanity is like a, a just a vulgar apples to apples. That's, right. that came out. Is, that's yeah. What, yeah. what it was like based on. Yeah. Yeah. What a loophole. They, they, I they, do agree, though. Apples to apples is better. They basically did X-rated Guess Who, so fucking yeah, the world's waiting for too. us. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Cards uh, Against Humanity, I think, did like insane sales when it came it out. It made so, so yeah. much money. Yeah, S so much really? money. So if I'm I'm seeing green right now. I think we're onto something with the naked uh, Guess Who or Clue or whatever oh, they're yeah. talking about. Dude, breast who? The, the, <laughs> there you go. Oh, yeah, there you go. This is an article from 2021 that says that Cards Against Humanity is making between an estimated between 40 and 50 million dollars a year, and they're looking for the company is seeking to be valued around 500 million as they're Holy looking to be sold. They're just printing off cards, right? Yeah. There's, yeah, no, there's no, yeah, you gotta have that say like Dick Fart. Yeah, they say Dick every single right. one. Dick Fart. Yeah, that's unreal. <laughs> cards Against Humanity is a shit ton of fun, I think. I like, yeah, I like Apple Sap. I'm sure it could be. Uh, and you just don't like it because it brings up bad memories for you. Nick, you're up. 
I'm up. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go with the game. It's not by, by definition a board game, but it's uh, when you hit it big, it's so fun to say the name of this game. Going Yahtzee. Yeah. Rolling the, the dice. Yep. The strategy involved in that. It's kind of like poker. Uh, the, the, yeah, the, the, the dice in that little blue cup. Uh, really fun game. Good app to have on the phone. Passes the time. Uh, fun to play with other people. It's it's Yahtzee, baby. Yeah, you, you don't awesome. even have to buy Yahtzee. You can just pull the dice from your other games. Hmm. I see. I don't know enough about this game. I'm I, not I like a Yahtzee. Yahtzee. I forget how I feel play. like Yahtzee was like a big, a big like you got to do math. Like yeah, I remember having like a little notebook on uh, like where you. Yeah. Kept so it was just a uh, three of a kind, four of a kind, full house. Uh, Oh, and that's Yahtzee it. Is all, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. that's all it is. All right. Well, I, I'm, I forget how to play. I, yeah, I, I must forget how yeah. to play. No, Yahtzee's, Yahtzee's awesome. Okay. Yahtzee, I, but when I they made those handheld ones, the electronic ones. Remember those? Yes. Yes. And once those came in, I feel like they sent, came so over the top of the board game, but it's still like Yahtzee. The premise is a good game. Yeah, Yahtzee, Yahtzee's fun. Yeah. Nick, get this. Ed was telling us a while back that whenever he's about to climax, he likes to yell Yahtzee at the top of his lungs. <laughs> yep. I, I could have guessed. Yeah. Wasn't yeah. that the uh wasn't it like a Dan Patrick um catchphrase for a while too on Sports Center? I feel like he would go, Yahtzee? Yahtzee? Yeah. I'm sure. Somebody. Somebody did. Somebody got, on Sports Center. That's that where he got it from. Yeah. I can guarantee that. Yeah. Yeah. If you got it from you? No, no, no. <laughs> well, yeah. Eddie, did Eddie, did you fuck Dan Patrick? Yeah, it was you know, Dayton, Ohio. Yeah. Um, let me tell you about the time. Uh, I believe he was a five. They just stick. played apples to apples together. Yeah, oh, wait, oh yeah. Yes, yeah. exactly. So we know they were both butt ass. Yeah. <laughs> it was a great night. It was a fantastic night, me and Dan. Um, White Sox, Dave. I'm going with life. Hmm. I I don't remember ever playing this on the board game version, but I want to say back when like CD ROMs were a thing, uh, it came in a pack of like Cheerios or something. So I installed it on the computer and I right. And, am I right? Yeah, it came yeah, with like a with box cereal. of cereal. It was like a giveaway or something. Yeah. And uh, I remember playing it a ton, and I actually liked it. And there is obviously it's like very very small part of it but there is some educational factors mm -hmm. sure i mean kind no, of also if you bit. played the board game version i would say that's like a very fun tactical board game you set up like the hills the roads yep. the bridges it has the little fun spinny wheel right life has the spinner yeah, yeah yeah really good spinner really and good you spinner. have the uh the little people that you get to put in your car that's fun I'll I was always gay as a kid. I always was. I always chose to be gay. <laughs> Did you play with your dad? Tossed, my dad tossed life right out the window. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, classic. Yeah, I don't remember it that much though. I don't really remember it either. I remember like it was cool. Like there were two different paths. Like you could go choose college or right into the workforce. Right, and right. College had that. Do you like, want to be a doctor or do you want to be a banker? Yeah. Like yeah. Yeah, and then you had to retire at the end. I just. The ending was always anticlimactic because everybody got to retire, and I think it was called like millionaire estates, and you just had to yeah. count up your money at the end. It was, it was, it was. But I remember the journey was was the most fun part of it. Yeah, the ending, life. the ending. I, you are correct. The journey yeah. was the fun part. Once the game is over, it's like, all right, no one. Oh, really that's wins. life. It was, like, it was fun to role play, dude. <laughs> no, I was absolutely. like, I, it is life. No one wins, dude. <laughs> My gay ass didn't go to college. I became an athlete and then just became a millionaire. That was my life in that on that board game. I had SpongeBob life. You always uh, had these uh, different versions. I know. I yeah. I was a big different version of board game kid. <laughs> that is cool though. That some of the yeah. different aspects of board games that they make are awesome. Like some of the Monopoly yeah. versions that they've made yeah. are very cool. Like it is nice. They have a like, Chicago Monopoly and everything. They, like they got can, everything. Yeah. Like I, I use yeah. NFL, but it's like I'm buying bears. the Bears. Like yeah. it's cool. Mm -hmm. I would be yeah. like the where would the bears be on the board? They'd be Baltic plays. <laughs> Those <laughs> losers. No, that'd be the Sox actually. Uh, Sox would be Baltic plays. It's like don't even bother buying it. Dave, you're up again. You could kick off the fifth round. <sighs> what do I? I'm gonna take Cards Against Humanity off my board just because we talked about it already. I'll my go. No, I'm just gonna go nice and easy again because I love the nostalgia plays. I'm going with Candyland. Mm. Okay. 
So the thing Simple about one. Candyland, it sucks. Candyland too good for checkers, not too good for Candyland. Yeah. It doesn't. I, hold, it's I, like it's, if you're four years old, I feel like you graduate beyond Candyland. You, you, you have know? you have two zero strategy games on your on your <laughs> list here. Kind of a, I don't even know if you can. If there's no strategy, is it a game? <laughs> that is a fair point. <laughs> uh, but Candyland is iconic, though. Yeah. Yeah, it is. G good characters, great board design. The cards look nice with just the flat colors on them, right? And I guess it is like the game that if you have nieces or nephews, like grab Candyland, this will consume a half an hour. Why do I feel like there is also a movie made on it? I believe they I don't, talked I, about it. I don't know if there was. I could um, be mistaken. Awful game. I can see a movie getting made out of the characters from that game. Yeah, if it hasn't been done, it will be yeah. done at some point. But the characters, like you said, are classic. King King Candy, Queen Princess Frosty, mm -hmm. and I got to pull Lord Licorice. The, the big fudge guy, right? Uh, yeah. What was Gloopy. his name? Gloopy. Yeah. I think it was Gloopy. For a, um, we did we had like a dance little thing for in, in college for my frat, and I had to play King Candy. Oh. <laughs> yeah, there, there's pictures. Is there pictures can, or can videos find, that? Can we there's, dig up these There's those, pictures yeah. out there somewhere of me Not as King Candy. Please find them. <laughs> um. But yeah, I, I was I, I don't it, not bad in the fifth round. It's it's a it's yeah. a it's a, it's a classic. Fine. It's yeah. a good fifth round. It was either that or backgammon for me. Well, well what if someone else <laughs> wants backgammon, Dave? Please don't I talk know. about I, you I always don't. I wish I knew how to play backgammon. Never My mom taught me when I was a kid, I forget though. It's not hard. Um Nick, I think you're it's up. older than chess, isn't it? It might be. It's one of those I games think it's that, like, that like I ancient like, Egyptians played. Yeah, like yeah. three thousand BC or something. Yeah. Isn't that the game they played um, in Lost like, too? Did they play in backgammon? Maybe. Oh yeah, it is. Yeah. 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 John Locke played backgammon. Yeah. Oh yeah. I should restart that series. I I did it Great in the show. fall. Um, that's a marathon right there. Eddie, is this my last pick? Yep. Uh, okay. Give me uh, give me Pictionary. Mm. Mm. Ah, it wasn't on my board. I'm pretty um, sick. Pictionary is great. I was always a good drawer. I was always a good drawer as a kid. Uh, uh, it was it's, it's fun to clown people that just are way off base with their drawings or don't know what the card is. It's a classic game, simple premise, and a good. It's always good to have something where, uh, first of all, growing up as a kid, I, it was the only thing I was good at, and so it was always nice to be the best at something. And then it's always nice to have a game where you can make fun of somebody else. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh yeah, big time. And a lot of, is a great game. I love Pictionary. A lot of people actually don't know you like drawing so much that you have always chosen your uh, glasses frames after Matt Browning. <laughs> Browning, the God Simpsons damn, guy. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I guess you're right. Mm -hmm. Does he look? That's like true. I've always followed in his footsteps. He just has similar glasses frame. I like the way the board looks, where it's just like, I like the colors. It's it's like simple and easy. It's like a nice looking game. Aesthetically pleasing game to look at. Not too much going on, and it's yeah, now, uh, yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's uh, it's it looks like if you had Pictionary is what you would draw in the game of Pictionary if you had to draw board game. Yes, <laughs> yeah. very symmetrical. I'm looking at it now. Yeah, it's been a minute. We need to have a board game night here. That's a good. Uh, that's a good fifth rounder. I think it's a great one. It's, good value. it's been so long since I played that game. Um, Chief, you're up. All right, I I'm taking backgammon. It's a game I probably haven't played since I was eight years old. Uh, but my grandpa used to play. I know what it looks like. I don't know any of the rules. I remember it came in like a sweet little like briefcase thing, mm -hmm. and uh, like it's, a leather yeah. briefcase. Like that was cool. Um, so I'm sure it's simple. I don't know how to play. I have fond memories of playing, but I have nothing left on my list. So the last two things <laughs> I had were Pink, Pictionary and Candyland. So there's uh, one you've played, I think. What is it? We'll see if it doesn't get drafted. Okay. Huh. I think that it's not a bad. Thing. It's, it's iconic, and I you that leather case. My my dad had one as well, and that was like my favorite toy growing up. Just carrying that leather backgammon case around, and it it was a uh, when it comes to like. Second to chess, it's a nice one to have laying out. And yeah. there's permanent ones like in the park. It's yeah, yeah. I don't know how to play though. You it's, do look like a guy whose favorite <clears throat> toy growing up was a leather briefcase. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, I mean, it makes you look official. I don't know what you're yeah, dude, officially of, but you're official yeah, about look something. At, look at me now. 
Yeah, <laughs> exactly. I'm a businessman. Yeah. <laughs> He's a businessman. Uh, you really took backgammon, huh? I didn't know what I, I had didn't nothing think else going to touch at. Back, wow. That's another thinking man's game, from what I recall. You got a good board too, dude. What's well, I don't think backgammon ruins it. I don't think there's anything I could add to it. There's one that I think everybody's played. A couple of live. There's a couple of live ones here. I think we'll see. Robbie Fox, what this do we is, got? This here? is the end of my list. What do we got? Twenty. Listen, there are a couple alive ones that I should take over the one I'm gonna take. I'll say that. I'm one of these guys who, when I come on the draft, I like to get a little sentimental. I like to get a little nostalgic with my fifth rounder. I like to pick a personal one. Like this that. game flew a little too close to the sun. It had a very short time in the limelight, but I'm going with seen it. When seen it came oh, out, yeah. it felt Ooh, fucking wow. revolutionary. You pop a DVD uh, and yeah, 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 yeah. you're watching Fuck. clips from movies. You're doing Wheel of Fortune type puzzles. You got, you know, oh, all wow. different types of things. The board was a couple reels put together. This was like the original dozen for me. And honestly, this was the board game I played the most with my family growing up. We loved seeing it. So I'm going to see it. Bob Fox, what I completely game. forgot about that. That so was a fucking great game. We great time we came in like a big like tin yeah. like a metal tin yeah. thing right like it, yeah. like it was a film reel yes there, yes there was uh yes. there was multiple versions of that too like you could play sports yeah sports, sports it was yeah. awesome sports, yeah. disney yeah i tons, bet if we started playing versions. that here it, like fist fights would break out dude it, but <laughs> it's everyone like talks about the dvd industry like matt damon went on hot ones was saying like yeah we can't make movies anymore because nobody buys dvds in the back end Fucking seen it, got their whole game crushed. Yeah, because no, they, they, they do have out. like a uh, uh, interactive trivia on Netflix now. I can't remember what it's called. It fucking sucks. It kind of stinks though. Yeah. yeah, it's and they have like some genie oh, character. It's fucking terrible. It's if they really just put bad. seen it onto Netflix, that's honestly what they should. They seen should it was that could make a big resurgence. Was, that's a yeah. Great idea. We've had a lot of good ideas on this show. Too. I we I need know, to, we're basically a million commission it right now. We need to have a meeting of minds this, after this. It might not even be draft one fifty. It's just gonna be called the Shark Tank with <laughs> yeah. Chicago. Yeah. Pitch all this shit to Mark Cuban. Yeah. Uh, what a fucking Cena home run! I'm gonna stuff. say this. I'll see it. I was gonna vote for Robbie Fox to be left off the graphic. Wow! Until that pick, I don't know. Cena's I still thing. might, right. but what? Uh, <laughs> what were you gonna say, Nick? It was more than a board game. That was an event. Yeah. Yeah. It was revolutionary. It all time because you still had yeah. the board, but you're yeah. interacting with the, the board, TV. Good pieces, was, good yeah. heavy metal pieces. Yep. Yeah. Ah, damn. I've fucking seen it, dude. That's. Right. I'm glad. That was like a nice little trip down memory lane there. It was respect. Yeah. That was about respect. Yep. Um. All right. To me, Mister Irrelevant. Not much left. Well, there's a lot left, but I got five left here. I wanted Candyland to round it out, but Dave took it. There's one heavy hitter. There's a monster heavy hitter, but I just don't know if I think like I. You could argue Blue Chip like a. I like, think so too. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. You guys know what we're talking about. I'll say so. it. I'm not gonna take it. I'll so I'll say it. But it's sorry. Yeah, yeah, sorry. That's yes. what I was thinking. Yeah, yeah. yeah nobody took sorry. So I, I can, I confuse sorry and trouble all the time. Oh, so do I. I was thinking of trouble right now. Yeah. yeah. So I'm gonna go. Fuck it. I already took a. I, I, I'm going back to back, just gimmick game. And it's Mr. Ralvin. You got to take something fucking zany. I, I'm going hungry, hungry hippo, bro. I was on my list. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Good game. Oh, I like Hungry, has Hungry a big Hippos. One. What'd you say, Nick? Good game. Yeah. Dave and Buster's has a big one. Uh, it was a it was a treat. I feel like that could be a bar game too. Hungry, Hungry Hippo. Like a, like a sturdier one that could like withstand pounding from like really drunk guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's. I don't. Are know you the, gonna rip on him for not having any strategy involved in his game, Nick? All you do is smash a thing and try to get as many little babies oh, as you can. Hungry Hungry Hippos is a game of timing. Oh yeah, true. No, you just smash it as hard as you can. That's that's it. <laughs> no brain power involved. You just have to have basic motor functions. It was brawn. That's a type of game. I have lots of that. No more, more strategy than fucking battleship. <laughs> Battleship's a fucking awesome game. There's one game that I thought somebody would take just because it looks good. 
uh, but it sucks. And I'm really glad nobody took Mousetrap. Oh, uh, mouse no, yeah. Talk about horrible setup. Yeah. It never really works the way it's supposed well, to. Well, the game is the setup. You go through and build it as you're playing. And it just, it's not fun. I wish it was more fun because I love a good Rube Goldberg. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I feel like that had a good commercial too. Great oh, yeah. commercial. Yeah. Made it look so much fun. Yeah. 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 Everybody had it. The, and the they trouble, opened it and played it like Bubble once. Trouble is one of the more yeah. satisfying board game things, though. So I'm surprised that didn't get taken. Yeah. So yeah. We'll Hitting do... the trouble bubble, flipping the, oh, flipping the die. That is nice. Yeah. That is nice. We'll do honorable mentions now, then I'll read it off, and then we'll do vote, we'll, we'll do the vote off. Um, so, yeah, what? Any anything else? I, I mean, I, I, Dave, I'm surprised you're not a twister guy. I didn't. I mean, yeah. I, I know what you're getting at. <laughs> One no because it, it <laughs> apples was like, to apples is the sexual game, you idiot. <laughs> we made yeah, it that's the one where you strip to. <laughs> yeah. Twister, it was like a yoga workout. I don't want to do that. That's mm-hmm. true. And I didn't even think of it as a, like it didn't even pop in my head to draft that. I debated shoots and ladders. That's yeah, a classic. Yeah, yeah, shoots I like and ladders that. is a classic. Um, I had boggle on my list. Boggle with all the letters, shake them up. Yeah. It's an okay one. Blockus. Have you guys played Blockus? No. Blockus. Blockus is really fun. It's just a square board, and you all have what looks like Tetris pieces, and you essentially like just connect as many as you can. Hmm. When and then the game's over, you count your pieces. Whoever as many as few pieces wins. Perfection. Is that even a board game? Yeah, I was going to. I was going to bring up Perfection. That one gave me so much anxiety. What was yeah, that like one? Is that the one with the shapes? Bomb. Yeah, it's the one with the shapes. And it was like counting down to pop them up. Yeah, it was a bomb. You had to defuse a bomb. Good. Yeah. And then. Bomb. Yeah. Uh, Telestrations. Have you guys played Telestrations? No. no. It's, it's a better so. Pictionary. It's really, really fun. It's basically Pictionary if you were playing telephone. So if we were all playing, I would write school and then pass my note card, and Eddie would have to draw a school, and then he'd pass his note card, and Dave would have to guess what it was. So he might guess, like, office, and then the next person tries to draw Michael Scott, and, you know, it just so divulges yeah, into like a telephone it game. It sounds fun. It's fun. It's fun. Oh, I'm sorry. I was looking up. I was making sure I had the right game. I didn't even hear the volume. That sounds head. interesting. Um, the biggest a- board game community it's now is a thing called Legacy Games, and they're board games you can only play once. Sorry about that. Legacy. Now, are yeah, people so what gonna- does that? What, do, what does that mean? So, like, you're ripping open envelopes. You're building a character. Oh. And you're, you're, you're adding stickers to the board, but you can only. It's like it's good enough for like three months worth of like weekend gaming, but like once you're done with it, you throw it away. Hmm. Gotcha. But that's like interesting. Yeah. Nick, I don't people... hate that because board games usually just collect dust when you're done with them. Yeah, right. It's, yeah. It's intriguing for sure. Are people going to be mad that you didn't pay respects to like the Warhammers of the world? Because that's like the biggest game in the world right now, right? Uh, Warhammer, like I've never played it. I never liked like the miniatures games like that. Those are that's a completely different world to me. Um, some people may be bad, but like the games that I like wouldn't exist without the games we drafted. It's a good point. Mm-hmm. That's huge. What about Dungeons and Dragons, obviously? Is that yeah. a board what game? about Pokemon? No, it's not that's, a board game. That's what? not a board game. I mean, that's like Uno. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I thought, I, I, so. I never got into it, <laughs> but I thought just, you actually board. play like a game with the cards, like Uno, kind of. I don't know. It, that, that's, like a, that's like Magic the Gathering. I don't know if that's really a board game. That's like a deck building, like trading card game. Hmm. So okay. that's, a, that's a, a different I, I wouldn't go to the board game aisle to find Pokemon cards. I'd uh, go to like the register. I, those yeah, are making yeah. a huge comeback. My niece like begged me oh, for yeah. as many Pokemon cards as possible this Christmas. It's like so hundred expensive. bucks on them for yeah. Them. Wow. yeah. Oh shit. Um, have you guys ever played Balder Dash? Oh, great game. Yeah, I mm-hmm. played it with my family. We were like, I was like in high school, so I was. We had fun with it. I, I don't remember exactly how to play, but I remember it got loud and everybody was yeah. getting into it. Yeah, it's uh, it gives you a word that's very very uncommon and rarely used. And one person writes yes, and the then there's three definition. other players, and everybody writes a yeah, fake yeah. definition, and you guess which one's the correct. Oh, that that's it, good. It was really, really fun. I remember we played it for Christmas. Two on my dad's side, and that's all a bunch of like hillbillies that love to get shit faced. And then on my mom's side, it's the opposite of that. We tried to play with them, and they're like, "This game stinks." And I was <laughs> oh, like, yeah. "You guys don't know how to have fun." <laughs> so yeah, Wait that's minute, my mom, right? Which yeah. side did you take right. after? <laughs> uh. William Williams. <laughs> William Williams. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, Target has a new blockbuster game that's really fun. I've played that before. Oh, yeah, I saw that. I've, I've no heard idea that, what yeah. It's, about. it's fun. There's like three categories. One is like quote it, act it, and uh, hmm. 
Um, forget what the third one is. It's it's a cool game. It's a nice game. I think, if I think Oregon Trail is now a board, now a board game too. Which it I is. Was the reverse right order? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I have no idea how it works. I haven't played it. Hmm. Yeah, that is. That is yeah. my maybe my all time favorite Barstool blog. It's probably ten years old now. Uh, Kevin. Kevin Clancy, KFC wrote. It was him, Big Cat, and Portnoy doing the Oregon Trail. And he was like screenshot of the whole thing because they remastered it or whatever and released it online. Yeah, they just re-released it. Yeah. And the way Kevin writes this blog is hysterically funny. I think that blog hysterically got, funny. got lost in like one it might have. Yeah, it was like it might have. One. But yeah, it was, it was like 2013. I feel like so it might have been 10 years ago. Yeah. Then the last one I had was "Don't Like Daddy." Real throwback. Ah, oh, do I remember yeah. that one? I feel yeah. like I Another do. Another commercial one, right? Yeah. Like more than anything. Oh, yeah, yeah. that's right. That's what I know from Don't yeah. Wake Daddy. But, like, that whole era of, like, games were, like, was, like, that and, like, Don't Break the Ice. And then the one where you built the bugs. Do you remember that? Yes, yeah. dude, yes. I remember Don't then, Break um, the Ice now, too. Don't Don't Spill the Beans, I think, was yes. one as well. They were all in, like, the same design box. Yeah. Hmm. You have any, uh, any, any, Nick, any other honorable mentions? Uh, the, we've, we've said all, like, the real heavy hitters, the ones that, like, you know the the trip away guys so i think i think this is like i watch the majority of your guys drafts this is the one where it was like real true slim pickings at the end yeah it was and, i uh, don't even think i could have added anything else to my list yeah so all right i'll run it down i you, are you aware of the new twist both of you yeah 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 okay so we'll do that i'm gonna run it down one more time um, White Sox, Dave, Monopoly, Battleship, Crossfire, Life, Candyland. Nick, Chess, Checkers, Scategories, Yahtzee, Pictionary, Chief, Risk, Connect 4, Trivial Pursuit, Apples to Apples, Backgammon, Robbie, Scrabble, Uno, Stratego, Jenga, Seen It, Eddie, Clue, Guess Who, Catchphrase, Operation, Hungry, Hungry, Hippo. Um, I'll be honest, this is tough. I this, think it's a kind of a toss-up. This is the third time we've done this, and I think this is easily the hardest it's been. I would agree. Do you agree with that or no? No, Chief? I got I got one that's... I have, a, I have a clear one as well. Yeah. You have a clear one as well? Yeah. I think so. And I also think there's a clear uh, winner. Oh, I got to get I gotta get pen and paper. Hold on. Okay. You. I mean, you could just say it. You probably. could do it on your phone, too, if you want. Yeah, or that, yeah. I yeah. got to post it. Okay, perfect. Okay. Yeah. Pen. You got a pen? Hold on, man. This is tough. Are you you got yours down, Chief? Yeah. You think it's a clear one? I do. Yeah. Ah, fuck, man. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> you think it? You think it's tough? I think it's hard, dude. Tough to find the worst, or or the worst, yeah. How many are you between? I'm between it? two. Okay. Why you just knew right away? Yeah. I think there's a clear one that's the worst one. All right. All right. I could tell by the way you. <laughs> All right. Three. I knew. What, I know what you wrote by the sound of it. All right. Three, two, one. All right, Dave. Dave. I, we can't see yours, Nick. No, he said uh, Dave. This is insanity. <laughs> uh, Dave. This is, all, this is all insanity. <laughs> Nick says White Sox, Dave. I have White Sox, Dave. Uh, Chief is White Sox Dave. I got Monopoly. That <laughs> automatically takes me off of it. Nah, because that game takes four and a half hours. If it's if it even the best board game in history. If you look up any ranking, Monopoly is like number one on every every it, single thing. It's the most popular. But does McDonald's make the best burger in history? I, would, I wouldn't even say it's the most popular. I mean, chess is more popular. I think Robbie just True. nailed it right there. Yeah. Robbie Do you even it. know how to play chess? Yeah. Do you know how to play chess? <laughs> yeah. He's lashing out now. <laughs> this is not many people do. This is peak lashing out. Yeah, you guys are insane. Out. You guys are insane. It was four to one though. Like you could at least Who take did you solace vote for, in Dave? that. You? you voted for me. Yeah. You don't like I don't uh, mean, Chief, about Chiefs going to win this uh, unless backgammon fucks him. Yeah, backgammon which in it the might. fifth round might fuck him. Might. But his his yeah. other draft was so many of like my picks. Yeah. Yeah. I like Nick's board a lot. I like Nick's too. Uh, we'll I, see. That's why the people vote. That's yeah. why the people yeah. vote. Robbie, when's that series drop? The new video with the new board game. Series? I think I'm gonna put the first video out next week. So look out for that next week. Okay, sweet. My mom's basement YouTube channel. Exactly. Sweet. Go check that out. Nick, anything going on? Anything we should say? Uh, didn't get enough love that Francis Dave video. Rewatch that. 
I like that. The Donnie stuff we got coming out. I just saw the first cut. It's going to be six videos. It's no going to be great. No way. Yeah. Oh, my God. Okay. The first, yeah, the first video is 30 I'll minutes whatever. long. It's just us at what? the game. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Dude, that's a mini series. Yeah. That is a mini series. I'm crazy. very excited about it. Good. And uh, I am cordially inviting Nick and, and KB, if he wants to come, to uh, go see Punxsutawney Phil next year. I think that'd be great, oh. too. <laughs> yeah, that'd be good. All right, I'll accept Smart. that. Yeah. Sure, fuck <laughs> it. I'll go next year. Sounds Put good. on your calendar. Uh, beautiful. That sounds good. Also, uh, we have a bunch of board games in the store, right? The dozen. Are you the asshole? I think answer the answer internet. Answer the internet. I yeah. think we yeah. have to say I that. Think, so. All right, answer so let's put our heads up. together and get that in the store by Black Friday, Cyber Monday. Yeah, that'd be nice. The naughty, yes. naughty guess who? <laughs> yeah. yeah. All yeah, these. Let's, uh, can we just can we just use random internet titties, or do we have to crowdsource the tits? We can just ask I'm our sure coworkers. Balls could help us out with that. Yeah, I'm sure he could yeah. too. Balls, yeah, Chief balls Ken, he's got balls, some yeah. nice mammary glands. That's um, not nice. not throw his on there. <laughs> yeah, he's, that's not uh, what I was he's lashing out. <laughs> he's lashing out. You got nice tits. Thank you. So we, yeah. Now, last chance. I just got to do it. Do you want to tell the apples to apples story? No. I tried, everybody. I tried. Nick, Robbie, thank you as always. Yeah, thank you guys for having thank me. Thank you. Have you boys thanks boys yeah, appreciate 150. it 150 150 in the books uh thank you always for listening uh that's it for today we will see you all tomorrow